Okay, we're going to determine the inverse of this quadratic function algebraically, then we're going to graph the function and its inverse. State the domain and range of both. So, we start with the function equation, and we let f of x be y. So we can write it out this way. We then switch x and y, including a let statement, to let the reader know there's been a fundamental change. So x is equal to negative 3 times y minus 6 squared plus 5. We can now solve for y. And we maintain our uh, order of operations integrity. Subtract 5 from each side, divide each side by negative 3. We don't typically have negative denominators, so we multiply numerator and denominator by negative 1 to get negative x plus 5 over 3 on the left hand side. We can then take the positive or negative square root on both sides and we end up after adding 6 with this statement and we can then say since f inverse of x is y that the uh, inverse of the original function is plus or minus the square root of negative x plus 5 over 3 plus 6. Okay, we then move on to the page where we graph them. We see it's probably easier to graph the original quadratic. It's a downwards opening parabola. And then to graph the uh, inverse, we simply reflect it in the diagonal line y equals x. Well, we also remember from our um, work with transformations that we wouldn't actually have to. We don't need the blue curve to be able to graph the green curve. It helps, but we don't need it. We can simply um, recall our work with transformations, factor out negative one-third, and realize that what we really have there are two different curves. One of them with an a value of positive one, and one of them with an a value of negative one. Same k, d, and c in each case. And using that information, we'd be able to graph both of those green curves, which together look like one sideways opening parabola. So then we can go to our final page on which we have our domain and range. We see the domain of the original blue function is a set of all x element of the reals and the range is y less than or equal to 5. And then on the green curve we see that the uh, range is the set of all y element of the reals and the domain is the set of all x less than or equal to 5. And just like it should, the range of the original corresponds exactly to the domain of the inverse, and the domain of the original corresponds exactly to the range of the inverse.